Hello. In this video, we will show you what to do when you open C Engineer for the first time and also the basic philosophy of the interface. So, when you install C Engineer and you open it, you will see this window here, which is actually a window uh, that asks if you want to open an existing project. So, in this case, I will uh, close it and I will open a new project with this button here. So we get a window that uh, asks uh, if we want uh, to do a new project as a structural analysis or uh, if we want to use it uh, as a structural addition. And also we can uh, select a predefined shape, uh, a predefined structure that we want to uh, use. So in this case I will click on analysis because I want to make a new structure. I click OK and the software asks for some basic information about the project. That means that we want uh, to, let's say, put some data like name and description, etc. And uh, there are some very important things like the material that we are going to use uh, in the project and also uh, about the structure and what environment are we going to, uh, to work and also what are the national codes and national annexes that we are going to use in the project. So for our example I will just choose steel as a uh, material. You see that we are getting a drop-down menu that uh, we, are, we can choose the uh, the type of, uh, of steel that we want to use uh, and also we have the possibility here to change for example the national annex and uh, choose another one you see that there are uh, all the available annexes uh, here of the Eurocode so I'm going to stick to the standard uh, in the second uh, tab we see uh, functionalities that are available inside C Engineer. Uh, it depends of course on the license that someone has but uh, here you can see all the possible functionalities and uh, depending on what we click here we get some additional things in the right side. For example uh, if I click uh, let's say non-linearity you see that uh, the right side extends with some additional things. Uh, to keep it simple, we will only choose the structural model where uh, that means that uh, we are able to see uh, graphically the structural model of, of the structure. That means that uh, all the connections would be uh, visualized as it is in reality. And also, we will choose to make some automatic uh, drawings from the structure and the mobile, uh, sorry, the um, climatic loads. And that is for now. Of course, in this uh, window, we can always return at any time during our project and uh, add additional stuff or delete something. Uh, since I'm, I have uh, checked the climatic loads, I have to go to the next tab, loads, and uh, tell uh, C Engineer that I'm going to take the wind loads from the code. So I'm going to choose according to code and the same for snow. So you see that there are some additional things here. I can click on this button here and uh, edit all the information of the Eurocode regarding the climatic loads. So these are all editable. So I'm not going to change anything right now. I click OK and now I can initialize my project with this data. So after entering all this basic information we are now inside our project and we see the interface of C Engineer. 
you can see that it is divided in some parts and here on the left side we can see the main window which contains all the functionality of CI Engineer. So if I double click on the project you can see the window that we used in the beginning and we entered all the basic information so as I told you we can always come back to this window and change anything. So I click OK. Uh, on the right side you can see the properties window where we see the properties of each entity that we select. Right now we don't have anything so it contains some information about the project so you can see the number of nodes, beams, labs, etc. And on the bottom side you can see the command line. Here we enter some information like coordinates or something. It is uh, a place that we can write something. For example, uh, if I click, let's say, on a tool like copy, you can see that the software gives us uh, the next step that we need to make. So it is uh, to select entities to be copied and finish selection with escape. So we always uh, look at this window to, to see what is the next step. So I click escape. Uh, one thing you need to know is that uh, this uh, configuration is something that uh, the user can change uh, very easily. So if I click on the main window and drag it without releasing the left uh, button of the mouse, I can put this window wherever I want. So I can just leave it as a floating window or I can select a predefined position here or on the right side and uh, I will just put it where it was. So uh, depending on the screen resolution you can define the interface as you want. Uh, this configuration of course it can be saved so you can use it, uh, you can uh, open it whenever you want. On the top side of the screen we can see some basic tools like for example uh, the geometric manipulations of the structure or uh, some tools uh, concerning the views, the zoom in, zoom out, the layers, etc. Uh, in the same philosophy as uh, the main windows, we can just drag this toolbar uh, or, uh, and move it to another place or of course we can add some additional tools here. You can see that uh, there are a number of tools but uh, uh, for simplicity reasons uh, there are uh, only the basic tools that we need. If we want to add additional tools we can just go to the setup and uh, add some additional stuff. Uh, if, we, if we go to the main menu of the software like the modify for example we can see the whole set of uh, the geometric manipulations. So you can see that, that there are some additional things that don't, do not exist right now in this toolbar but we can always add it. So I'm just going to move it to its place. And so this is the basic, let's say, uh, interface. And uh, one final thing is that uh, uh, if you accidentally close uh, a window, like for example if I close this properties window, uh, you have to remember that uh, you can go to the view and toolbars and just enable it. So everything can be defined here on the main menu. So let me explain a little bit how this main window works. So I'm going to model a very simple structure, just a beam. So I double click on structure, I go to 1D member and I double click on member. And because I don't have anything uh, as a cross section right now in my project, uh, the software asks what are the cross sections that we need uh, inside this project. So I'm going to define, let's say, from the profile library, just a couple of cross-sections. I'm going to put this IP 
114. Just click on the arrow. I can see here the properties of this cross section. And I'm going to enter also this one. Okay. And you can see also that there are uh, a lot of other libraries, like for example, the closed sections or the welded sections. You can see that it is a quite extended library. So uh, in this project, I only need this tool. So I'm going to click on close. And having selected this one, I also click on close. So a window pops up that it is the properties of this specific member that I want to enter. So it is uh, the cross section HEA200. It is, let's say that we define it as a beam. And I can put here also some information about uh, the rotation of, uh, of the beam or the layer that I want to put it and and many other things so i'm just going to keep it as it is and now i can enter the beam let's say in seven meters i click on escape and now i have a beam that it is visualized as a single thin line uh, this i can change very easily by clicking on this uh, two buttons here on the top side of on the bottom side of the window so if i click here i can see that uh, now it is a 3d uh, visualization so i also click on the rendered uh, option and now i can see there's a rendered uh, beam uh, you can uh, very easily uh, manipulate this uh, structure uh, with the mouse so if i click and hold down the middle button the wheel i can do the pan function and if i click on the control button and the right button of the mouse i can rotate it uh, freely in uh, my environment so now that I have something uh, as a structure I can just select it and you see now here in the properties window that uh, I have the properties of this specific member so if I click on the alpha property I can define let's say 45 degrees so the member is rotated uh, around its axis or I can just easily change the cross-section by this drop-down menu so um, in order to be able to to put a load on this beam of course I have to support it so I will just select the node you can see that the node is also an entity so it has uh, properties so it, uh, it is actually the coordinates I select also the other node and there are, there are some shortcuts here under the window that has to do with the support so I can just click on the fixed support and two supports are entered on each node. So I close this main, uh, this structure menu. And now I go to the next one, which is the load. I double click here. And uh, automatically I get uh, the window that uh, we define the load cases. Uh, by default, uh, C engineer enters the first load case which is the self weight of the structure so I need to define let's say one new load case that will be the permanent 
so I can put a description here. Of course, the action type is permanent, so I click on close, and now I can enter specific loads to this load case. So the window uh, load uh, now it is on my screen, and I can just double click let's say on the point force on beam so we have the window here that uh, we can define the properties of this force so we can just enter minus 3 and it will be on the z direction and we can also define the position of this node of this load so we say that it is in the middle of the beam. I click OK, so we see that a load has been defined in this beam. Since my structure is also supported, I can just do the calculation right now. So calculation is here. Just click it. Of course, it is a linear calculation. and a window uh, pops up where we see that uh, we have the end of the analysis and uh, the sum of loads and reactions is okay and we see some basic uh, information about the results where uh, we see the maximum translation and the maximum rotation uh, of the structure. We, I, we click OK here and if we go back to the main window we see that a new item has, uh, has been input here. It is the results of the calculation. So I double click on the results. And I can see that we can have the results on the beams. For example, we have the internal forces. And to be able to see these results, I just click on this item and on the properties window, we can define the selection uh, that we need uh, as, uh, as beams. For example, we can say that we need all beams or the current beam or we have some additional uh, possibilities here. I just uh, click on all. The type of loads will be, of course, the load cases because we don't have anything else. Uh, we also have two load cases so we can say that we need the permanent load case and we can click on the refresh and we see graphically the results. If we want to see the results also through a table, we click on the preview here. So a new window opens on the bottom side of the screen, the preview window where we can see the results in a table format. So I just close on the preview and close here and I return to my main window. So this is a basic overview of the interface of C-Engineer. Thank you for watching.